Ukraine said it has taken back the eastern village of Klashivka, in what would be Ukraine's second significant gain in three days in its months-long counteroffensive against the Russian army. The village lies on higher ground about 9 kilometers 6 miles south of Bakhmut and has been the scene of intense fighting for weeks. Today, I would like to particularly commend the soldiers who, step by step, are returning to Ukraine what belongs to it, namely in the area of Bakhmut, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said in his nightly video address to the nation on Sunday. The breakthrough in Klashivka comes days after Kyiv said it had gained control of the tiny nearby village of Andrivka and as Zelensky prepares for his second wartime visit to the United States, a key ally. Zelensky said that Kyiv was preparing new defense solutions for Ukraine, and that air defense and artillery are the priority, without providing details. It began its counteroffensive to clear Russian troops from its territory in June. Alexander Sersky, commander of Ukraine's ground forces who is also in operational control of the counteroffensive, posted a video of Ukrainian troops displaying the blue and yellow national flag on ruined buildings with the sound of fighting in the background. Klashivka was cleared of the Russians, Sersky, who has often visited the Bakhmut front line to devise strategy and boost the troops' morale, said on social media. Klashivka was home to about 400 people before Moscow launched its full-scale invasion in February 2022, and was captured by Russian troops in January of this year. There was no word from Moscow on its positions in the area. It previously denied reports that its troops had been pushed out of Andrivka. Ilya Yevlash, spokesman for Ukrainian troops in the east, said that control over Klashivka could help the Ukrainian army encircle Bakhmut captured by Russia in May after one of the war's longest and bloodiest battles. Yevlash said the battle had inflicted powerful damage on Russian airborne units. The Akhmet battalion of Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov, Storm Z made up of Russian criminals, the Russian general staff's military intelligence and motorized rifle units. We have now gained a staging ground, which will in the future allow us to continue to develop offensive actions and liberate our land from the occupiers, he said in a televised statement. Analysts said the capture of the two villages was an important breakthrough. The liberation of Klashivka, as well as continued Ukrainian tactical gains northwest of Bakhmut are gains of strategic significance because they are allowing Ukrainian forces to fix a considerable portion of Russian airborne elements in the Bakhmut area, the Institute for the Study of War ISW, a Washington, D.C.-based think tank, wrote in its daily update on the fighting. The latest news from Kyiv came as the U.S.'s highest-ranking military officer sought to temper hopes for a swift advance in the counteroffensive. General Mark Milley, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, said that while the effort had been slower than the planners had anticipated, it had been steady. He dismissed suggestions from some that the offensive had failed, arguing that Ukraine had a lot of combat power remaining. The Ukrainians are not a spent force. However, he warned. It'll take a considerable length of time to militarily eject all 200,000 or plus Russian troops out of Russian-occupied Ukraine. That's a very high bar. It's going to take a long time to do it. NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg also warned there would be no swift end to the conflict, in an interview published on Sunday. Most wars last longer than expected when they first begin, Stoltenberg told Germany's Funk. Media Group. Therefore we must prepare ourselves for a long war in Ukraine even if everyone is wishing for a swift peace. Kyiv has also begun pushing back against Moscow's forces in the south after building up western weapons and recruiting more soldiers for its assault battalions. Intelligence updates from the US and United Kingdom suggested there had been more progress on the southern front with the ISW saying Ukrainian forces had probably made a significant tactical breach along a section of the southern front line. The UK's Ministry of Defense, meanwhile, said that Russian forces were reinforcing their secondary defensive line around the occupied town of Tokmak, about 16 kilometers 10 miles behind the southern front line, amid Russia's growing concern about Ukrainian tactical penetrations of the first main defensive line to the north.